Ear neck, bourbon, and a shrew. Ear neck, bourbon. The project aims to create a new kind of song cycle. I've been interested in evoking landscape and a sense of place in my work. So we'll be making use of field recordings um, and regional dialects, um, as well as a whole range of texts, poetic, scientific, contemporary and ancient. So there can be some really low chords. And in this instance, uh, we have taken the idea of a mountain stream, the flow of water, um, the sound that makes, and all the different words that you have in, in different parts of, of the UK for, for a stream, whether it be a, a, a brook, or a beck, or a burn. And uh, nowhere has this been better described than in um, some of Nan Shepherd's writing. One hears it without listening, as one breathes without thinking, but to a listening ear the sound disintegrates into many different notes. The slow slap of a loch, the high clear rill of a rivulet, the roar of a spate. On one short stretch of burn the ear may distinguish a dozen notes at once. I spoke to Colin um, a few months ago about starting a new project and you know I'd read this book by Robert McFarlane Landmarks that I was really intrigued by um, partly because of a, a different project I'd, I'd started about Oxfordshire and um, started thinking about accents and you know just people sort of archive audios of people talking about where they were from um, and, and place um, so we sort of it overlapped with Colin having read some of his books. Colin and I have been discussing this project a little bit um, and uh, I contacted um, Rob about uh, a possible musical collaboration. The path leads you on the forest crowds, the path yeah. sometimes to the point of invisibility. Yeah. Um, and it's not that they're exactly opposite, each needs the other to define itself, yeah. but, um, but if the path is to do with navigation, orientation and decision, the forest is to do with, I guess, confrontation and disorientation. Yeah. And Backbone and inspiration for 
an actual melody, something about the uh, rise and fall, something about the speed of certain words, um, as well as the actual sort of uh, colour um, of the, the consonants and vowels. This is the river, water, that strong white stuff, one of the four elemental mysteries can here be seen at its origins. Like all profound mysteries, it is so simple that it frightens me. It wells from the rock and flows away. For unnumbered years it has welled from the rock and flows away. It does nothing, absolutely nothing, but be itself. I think we've got the colours that could make it something quite unsettling, as well as at times being quite pastoral and at times being very reflective, but there's this ghostliness to it and there's this unquietness, which I think is is the number one. Just got to get on and write it then. Yep, yep, <laughs> yep. Good. Cut. All Cut. Right.